We're going to walk you through installing the incredible PBX in this video. If you have not yet installed PBX in a Flash Silver, start by watching that video and installing the code. So the first step is to download the incredible PBX installer, uh, as you can see in the WGET instruction above after you log in to PBX in a flash as root, and we recommend you use SSH for this. Once you've downloaded the script, make it executable, and then just run it. As the script tells you, uh, this runs unattended, uh, takes about 15 minutes, and uh, will pick up uh, after the 15 minute mark. This script installs all of the NerdVittles asterisk utilities and uh, also configures uh, your system for free calling in the US and Canada using Google Voice. When the base installation is complete for Incredible PBX, you'll see a screen that looks like this one. Before you can complete the next step, you're going to need a free Google Voice account and either a SIPgate or IP call account, both of which are also free. The reason for this is Google Voice always makes two calls. Uh, to complete an outbound call. First it calls you back and then it calls the party you wish to reach. Uh, we will do all of that transparently but to do it you'll need both of these accounts. So we're assuming you have those accounts in place and you're ready to proceed uh, with step two as shown below. The steps you need to complete now uh, first just run the script Agree to the license agreement. Change your master password for free PBBX. This uses a program already on your system called Password Master. And you want to make this a really secure password and make sure it's different than your root password. Once that completes, you'll be prompted to enter your 10-digit Google Voice phone number and then your Google Voice email address, which is the address you registered with on Google Voice, and then your Google Voice password. And the ringback DID is going to be the phone number that was assigned to you by either IP call or SIPgate. Your password master password is what we just entered. And then you need to tell the script whether you're using SIPgate or IP call. If you're using SIPgate, you'll be prompted for your SIP ID, which you can get off the SIPgate website after you register, and your SIP password. Once you've got all those complete, uh, just press the enter key to proceed and uh, you'll be all set. Reboot your system and you're ready to go.